purposely make it really good. I don't have to go any further. And here is your start. So we just did it through this part. Fair enough? Oops. The first pair of arteries that come off, you're going to love it. I'll just draw them on one side. The first pair that come off, come off around here, and they're called pericardio arteries. Right? They're very important arteries. You know your heart in the, in the chest cavity? Because you know that your heart sits in the sac? You know that? And that sac is called the pericardium, and it has its own arteries. When I do pathology with you, I can show you what happens if they leak. You can end up dying because you end up constricting the heart. You know? Not good. The next pair blows students away. You don't think about it. There's a pair of arteries on the called going? To which organ? The lungs. Now you go, wait a minute. Students say, but we already did lungs. Remember all the blood that we sent to the lungs and it got oxygenated? You remember that? But here's what you don't realize. The blood that we did earlier that went to the lung and picked up oxygen, that blood was, this is the key, being serviced by the lung. You follow? The lung was what? Servicing the blood coming in and oxygenating it. But the lung itself has bronchioles, you know, little tubes in it, correct? And it says, my little bronchioles need oxygen. You know, the outer part of my lung, which has nothing to do with what? Oxygenating blood needs oxygen. So the bronchial arteries do what? They bring oxygenated blood to the lung tissue. So that the lung as a whole could be what? Fully oxygenated and have its CO2 removed. Does that make, does that make you understand that? Got it? Okay. If you're a lung, you may say, I want to service the blood, but I still need what? Oxygen. Oxygenated blood to make me work. That's the bronchial artery. Okay. You're going to go fast. There aren't that many. You can do it in batch marks. I'm going to do that. <coughs> what the hell are those? Want me to tell you? All of them are esophageal. Why do you need about approximately five? Because your esophagus is what? Long, right? Doesn't your esophagus look? When you swallow food, doesn't it go from the back of your throat? Where? All the way to your stomach? So here's a tube. So it means what? Arteries that will service it at different levels. Who cares? How about... Two more. My favorite. Where are these arteries going? The diaphragm. The diaphragm. Right. And then what's the word for diaphragm? These are called the superior phrenic. Should have known that it was the last time you should have learned about the phrenic nerve, right? And why superior? Okay, I will stop and I will tell you why. When you go, how many of you cook? Let's see, who's my cooks? Raise your hand. 